God bless you. I am Prophet Willie Townsend, now the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lines are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me, send me your testimony, send me your prayer request letter, write me Prophet Willie Townsend, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. If you want today's lesson by DVD, VHS, or cassette or CD, get the tape number or the tape message that's appearing on your screen. Call the church. Give us the tape number or the message, and we'll rush the tape out to you as soon as possible. We do encourage you to check our website. Amen. All of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes, you can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. Also, you can get our telecast live every Sunday by going to our website at 2 o'clock p.m. Amen. Also, I encourage you to write me. Send me your prayer request letter. Send me your testimony. Write me, Prophet Willie Townsend. P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. All right, now into our lesson on this morning. Our lesson will be on correction. Yeah. Yeah. Correction. Yeah. From the beginning here, God corrected me. Yeah. Amen. Uh, God corrected Israel. God corrected many people that thought that they was right. Know you see what I'm talking about. But God have a purpose and a plan in correcting us. And if you humble yourself as a child unto Christ, you would accept his correction and grow thereby. Let's go to Hebrews 12 and 5. Amen. That's Hebrews 12 and 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not by the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Amen. Our lesson this morning will be on correction. Amen. Correction. Amen. I don't care what denomination you are, what your title is, whether you're a bishop, doctor, a pastor, prophet. Amen. There are certain things you need to be corrected on. But this let us know that if we are saved, God will correct us. God will correct us with his word. God will correct us with his spirit in his holy apostles and prophets. Correction is not to hurt us spiritually. Correction is not to tear us down. But correction is to bring us into perfection. Correction is to keep us in the will of God, baby. Correction is to bring us up to God's requirements. Many people are not living in God's requirements. They live in the requirements.
requirements of their flesh. They live in the requirements of religion. They live in the requirements of this world. God wants you up to his requirements. And his requirements is holy, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? Probably why does God correct us? God correct us that we, we would be a part of his holiness. If God don't correct you, baby, you will not be a part of the kingdom of God. If God does not correct you, you could be one of those in judgment and say, God, didn't we prophesy? Didn't we cast demons out? He would tell you, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, baby. So therefore, it's good that God correct us, baby. God correct us and chastise us with his word that we will be a part of his holiness. What, you don't want to be holy? Huh? Hold it up, baby. All of you all that saying you are saved, what, you don't want to live holy? All of you all that saying, amen, you are born again, you are, you are saved. What, you got something against holiness? What, you doesn't want to live holy? Prophet, I have nothing against holiness. If you have nothing against holiness except God correction then, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? If you want to be holy, you must accept God's correction. Amen. Correction from God, what makes a man holy unto God. Amen. Amen. God is holy. Amen. Man is flesh. Amen. God has to bring man up on his level. Amen. Not God come down on man's level. He told Moses to come up to the mountain. You see what I'm talking about? Correction. Amen. Oh, what grows a Christian spiritually? Many of us, we are headed in the wrong direction. God corrects us to put us in the right direction. You see what I'm talking about? Many of us, we think we know it all. Many of us, we think we live in it for God when you're not. You see that? Many of us, we have erred in spirit and God help us send his word amen to correct us to put us in his will correction puts a man back in the will of God baby you got many of us honey we has wandered out of the will of God. And God correct us with his word to put us back in the will of God. But if you reject God correction, God will give you over to a reprobate man. To do those things that's not convenient, baby. If you does not, wants to accept God's correction. God say don't give what's holy to the dogs. If you don't want to accept God's correction, Jesus said, if the first and second ammunition reject. You see that? Do you 
this shoot I'm talking about. Many of us, we picked up wrong spears in us. And we are operating through these wrong spears. And when God corrects us, we get offended. But remember, baby, wrong spears cannot face holiness. Wrong spirits cannot face God's correction, baby. Many of us, we picked up wrong spirits and God sends us his word to correct us to get rid of these wrong spirits that's in us. Didn't the Bible say that God sent his word to heal them? I'm sure, baby, you does not want to keep those wrong spears in you. I'm sure you does not want to keep coming to church, jumping and shouting with the devil in you. I'm sure you don't want to keep singing in the choir with the devil in you. I'm sure you don't want to keep sitting in the pulpit with the devil in you. Well, you better accept God's correction, baby, and get delivered. Let me tell you what correction does, baby. Correction delivers a man. Here's the question, baby. Don't you want to be delivered? Amen. What is you praying about? Are you praying for a deliverance? Well, if you're praying for a deliverance, how do you think God's going to deliver you? Sometimes God got to deliver you with correction. You see what I'm talking about? Sometimes God got to deliver you by correcting you, baby. And if you does not want God's correction, you does not want to get delivered. That's what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, baby, if you does not want to be corrected, you're not ready to be saved. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Jesus corrected Peter. Jesus corrected James and John, baby. Jesus corrected men on the roads of Emmaus, didn't he? You see what I'm talking about? God sent the prophet to correct David, didn't he? Did David get angry? No. He said, have mercy upon me, O God. He humbled himself upon the, the correction of God, baby. That's what I'm telling you to do. Humble yourself upon the God's correction, baby. After God correct you, you know, you doesn't get puffed up. You doesn't get angry. You acting like a fool in the sight of God now. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. Uh, many people does not want to get corrected. With the word of God. Amen. This is why you got so many folk in these churches still bound. They don't want holy teaching. They don't want the truth. They don't want God to correct them. They want to do things their way. And you know what the Bible said. Folk that do things their way is a fool. You see what I'm talking about. He's foolish baby. The Bible said a wise man going to obtain knowledge. A wise man going to accept correction, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? This is why you got so many folks still not delivered. Because they does not want to be corrected by the word of God. You see what I'm talking about? 
being corrected by the word of God brings you into right standard with God. Don't you want to be in right standard with God? Being corrected by the word of God put you on God's spiritual level, baby. Let me tell you what correction does. Number one, correction reveals the hidden spirits in you. Many people does not want that. They does not want the word of God to pop up their hood. And she was under the hood. There's a lot of folks, baby, does not want God's word to open up their closed doors. <laughs> Number one, correction reveals. Before God corrects you, he have to reveal you. Revealing come before deliverance, don't you know that? Revealing come before moving on to perfection, didn't you know that? Revealing come before you live in holy, didn't you know that? You see what I'm talking about? Correction number one, it reveals. Look what David told God. He said, search me, O God. And see whether there's any hidden thing in me. David said, I was glad I was afflicted, which means I'm glad I was corrected. If not, I'd have went astray. That's what That's what Deep, hold it, baby. You got a lot of these folk in the church that don't want to be corrected. That's why they end up being, some of them end up being homosexuals. That's why some of them end up being gamblers. That's why some of them end up living like the world. They refuse God correction, baby. They ran from God's correction. Number two, correction tells you what to do and how to get rid of hidden spirits in you. You see what I'm talking about? Sometimes God has to reveal your life to you through his word. Didn't you know that uh, the word of God it's prophecy itself. Don't you know when a man of God is a prophet sent by God, God going to use his word through that prophet to reveal you, to bring you up to uh, perfection, to bring you up to God's standard of holiness. Let me ask you a question, honey. Do you want help or not? If you want help, baby, then I bad you accept God's correction and receive God's help, baby. Don't you know that God's correction is God's help for you? David didn't get angry because God corrected him. He said, I'm glad I was corrected. I would have went astray. The prophet Jonah came to Nineveh, corrected him. He didn't get angry. Baby, he submitted himself to God. He got up off his throne, baby, and, and seek the face of God, baby. You got many peoples, baby. Amen. They are running from God's correction. Therefore, if they run from God's correction, the Bible said if he's filthy, let him stay filthy. They don't want no help. They want help through prayer, not through the word of God. That's with many of you all, baby. 
You want help from God through prayer. But you does not want help from God through his word. God didn't send prayer to deliver them. He sent his word to deliver them. Hold it, baby. Prayer's good. Don't get me wrong. But prayer is a request. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, you go pray and God can help you. But the, the first thing is God's word. If you reject the word of God, your prayer won't work. That's the bottom line. You cannot put prayer before the word of God, baby. You just accept the word of God first, then turn to God in prayer. That's what I'm talking about. Jonah came to Nineveh. The Bible states plainly that the prophet Jonah cried out, gave Nineveh the word of God. God gave Nineveh the word of God first. After that, then the king prayed and humbled himself. You see what I'm talking about? You see that? Correction brings you to your knees. Correction brings you to repentance. Correction brings you to God. I'm sorry. Have mercy upon me, oh God. That's what I'm talking about. Correction should make you angry. If you did, baby, you got a demon in you. If correction makes you angry, you might be possessed. If correction makes you angry, you got the wrong spirit in you. So you could see why you was operating the way you was. You had the devil in you while you was doing what you was doing. And when God was sending his word through the prophet, you still had the devil in you. That's, not good. That's why you got angry, baby. You got many peoples, baby. They cannot face God's correction. You see what I'm talking about? This why they get nervous. That's why they got to run to the washroom eight times a day. I mean, I'm going to be point blank, baby. For me to get delivered through the word of God, if I got a bladder problem that bad, I'll wear me some diapers to church. You got to understand diapers not only for babies, they got some for adults too. Go, you go to the store and... and go in, go in. That's how I see them about being corrected. Yeah. They keep me from listening out on the word of God. They keep me from missing out on the word of God. I put a diaper on me, baby. Come to church. And that will be the only time I have to sit in the back. You tell it, Holy Ghost. You got to do what it takes to get delivered, baby. Sometimes prayer don't deliver you alone. Sometimes you're going to need the word to go along with your prayer. You see what I'm talking about? Here's the problem, baby. You got many people does not have a clear understanding of God's correction. When God is correcting them through his word, they think you talking about them. Wow. They think that you belittling them. They think that you down in them. They think that you think that you better than them. It's not that, baby. It's not that you got man demons. It's not that, baby. That's the way, that's the state of your mind. It's not that we talking about you belittling you, downing you. We trying to bring you into holiness, baby. We trying to bring you into the will of God, baby. You see what I'm talking about? We trying to get you out of the church building and get you in the body of Christ. That's what I'm talking about. We 
trying to get you. Partakers of Christ's holiness. You see what I'm talking about? The way you live and you know it's not holy. The way you live and you, you think that you're right. And this is why God helped us in a prophet. In your life. Or on the TV. To correct you. To correct your religion. To correct the lies your pastor been telling you. Because he been led the wrong way. Some of them. Sometimes have not seen the prophet correct the spears that's in us. Sometimes we don't pick up a wrong spear. All right, God bless them. I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, uh, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue, James, in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m., and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call. And we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lands are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to check our website, all of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes. You can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. Also, our telecast every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. You can get it live by going to our website at 2 o'clock p.m. on Sunday. Amen. Our website is a worldwide website, 24 hours a day. Until tomorrow morning, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church. Until then, may God bless you.